Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with a quilt top kit. It's just for the top of the quilt and I cut and planned for this quilt months ago and never did anything with it until Joe came along <laughs> and he has started helping me uh, sort and stack fabric. So I told him I'm going to finish cutting the strips. I, I had cut all the strips, but then I had to cut the pieces, and I did that, and uh, we, we got it done. We got the job done. This is going to be a very easy quilt to put together. You do not have to buy this kit because I'm going to give you the measurements of what you need, and it's, uh, it is very simple. But the deal with my kit is they are all the same print. It's Crazy Daisy, and uh, there's 17 different colors, all the same print. Some of the dots are different colors. I think it's going to be very colorful, and we're going to give it a try. I'm going to have this on eBay after I upload this video. And we are, what, April 2, 2024. So if you're watching in the future, these are all gone. <laughs> but for now, if you're watching and you shop right after you watch, you can get one. Get a kit. I'm not sure of the exact price yet, but I am going to tell you that whatever you pay on eBay, if you were to join my uh, exclusive shopping sales, join me on Patreon or become a YouTube member, which is different than a subscriber. I almost wish I would have just stayed with just Patreon because it would be so much easier to explain. I'm going to suggest Patreon, but you can become a YouTube member if you want. I'm going to make sure the price is $10 less. Now you'd have to join my Patreon at the $10 per month level. So it would be like getting a month for free. Because if you're going to pay $10 more on eBay, why not just put that $10, become an exclusive shopper, get this for $10 less, and then you're in for a month, and if you don't want to stay, you don't have to. So I thought I would try that. I have a link in the description of this video explaining uh, how to become, well, it'll send you to either Patreon or your YouTube memberships, and... It would be $10 per month for Patreon, and it's $9.99 uh, through YouTube. They do it that way. I don't know if there's that much more that I want to tell you, but yes, go do that. They'll be offered in those two places right now. I thought it might be a good way to get some new exclusive shoppers on board. If you want to make something like I'm making right now, you are going to need uh, 13 pieces of fabric that are 9 inches wide by 20. 9 by 20. Looks like that. You need 13 of those. Then you need 4 that are going to be 9 by 9 by 10 and a quarter I think it is. Let me do the math. Hang on. Yes. You want four pieces that are nine by ten and a quarter. I do need to mention that my exclusive sales that are run on my own personal blog, I do not ship outside of the USA. So if you join Patreon or become a YouTube member, uh, and if you're outside of the USA, just don't even bother. You can, though, uh, order stuff or even bid on my auctions. If you are outside of the USA, as long as you are part of eBay's international shipping program and you have to pay the shipping, I can do it through them because I don't have to handle the, the all the stuff that's involved in sending outside of the USA. I send to an eBay shipping place and then they take care of it from there. So make sure you check the shipping charges for your country and uh, if you're you know, ready to pay for the shipping charges and whatever taxes your country might have, then you're welcome to buy or to bid. But uh, patrons and YouTube members, I do not ship outside of the U.S. Big prints. You can use big prints if you have some and you don't know what to do with them. This is a really good opportunity to use some big prints. And if you have some fat quarters that you, you know, just got hanging around and you're not sure how to use them, you can get two of these strips out of a fat quarter, assuming that the fat quarter was cut, you know, maybe a little bit generous because a fat quarter is cut at 18 inches. 
you need nine per strip. So nine and nine is 18. It would have to be a, not a crooked cut and a little bit generous. And then it's 20. Yeah, it, you can always get 20 inches out of a fat quarter from you know one end to the salvage. So it's a good way to use up some fat quarters. I don't have a good way to lay this out on the table that I'm on to show you. But what I'm going to do is while these are like you know, sort of folded and small, I'm going to make my layout just to see how I want the colors. But what it's basically going to be is five columns. Three of those columns will be just three of these pieces sewn together, you know, lengthwise. Two of the columns will have two of these strips opened up with a small piece on top and on the bottom and that's what's going to make us have um, no matching intersections. First I want to lay them out. I'm going to just like fold these for the sake of my table. I'm going to pretend that that's the length, you know, like 9 by 20 and I'm going to lay those out and see how I want the colors and then I'll show you like a column at a time how I'm going to put them together. This should be so quick and easy to put together. If you need a quilt top, uh, in one day you're gonna have it and you know and if you're good at the quilting part and you have the backing and batting ready then you know you can literally make the entire quilt in I would say one afternoon I think I'm okay with this color combination of course you can do oh, whatever you want now these pieces that are going to be the short ends they're the same color for you we cut everything the same so you have these 13 pieces that are going to be the long ones and then you have four pieces that are smaller and those are going to be your ends. So let me lay out my first column. It's going to be this and I'm just going to be sewing those three pieces together. So this is my first column and they're overlapping a little bit. Those are my other pieces right there that I will do after. So you can see this is going to go together really quick because we just have two places that we have to sew right there and I'm going to take that to the machine I'm not taking you to the machine I'm going to sew those three pieces together and column one will be done oh the finished size of this quilt should be about 43 wide by 59 long I have the first column done that was so incredibly easy so quick now the second column this is where we're going to put one of our shorter pieces and then two long ones and then end with a shorter one. That's what's going to give us no matching intersections. And yes, I'm still overlapping here for the sake of room. This, make sure it's running nine inches wide by ten and a quarter tall. Because if you do this by mistake, you will see that doesn't fit. So that will be a good indication that you need to turn it <laughs> so they're supposed to fit this way so now I'm just going to sew there there and there now I have these two columns done and they should be about the same length when you're done and if they're not don't worry it's very hard you know to do perfect quarter inch seam allowances if you're a little bit more you know not as you know big as a quarter or a little bit more than a quarter it's going to alter the size that's why trimming was invented <laughs> we can trim after the fact when we get to sewing these together I would say pick one end and line them up on one end and then you would be able to just trim any crookedness um, on only one end here is my next strip this is going to be right down the center, so it's three long ones. I know, I haven't pressed yet. It will be all pretty at the end. This one is put together. Now I'm doing the next one will be the short, long, long, short. And I want to point out that um, even though I try to cut the best I can, I don't know if that's a cutting slip that maybe it went off a little bit or I didn't uh, sew it right. I mean, it's even on this side, so it makes me think that this one may have gone a little bit wide when I was cutting, because I'm human. I'm not a machine. I cut a lot of these, and it's possible that I can 
slip a little bit. So if you find anything that's not perfect, that's that's because it's it's me. I'm not perfect, <laughs> but you're gonna be fine. And uh, let me just go sew this one together, and then I'll only have three more pieces to put together, and then we will sew the columns together. This is the last column. This is going to be way better than I even expected. Now these are all overlapped by a lot, see, like that, so uh, it's going to be much wider. And if you get this quilt kit, it's again three long pieces, and then the next column is short piece, long, long, short. Three long pieces in the center, and then short, long, long, short, and then three long on that end. You can put the colors any way you want. The only thing is the short pieces are pre-cut in those four colors. And I'm going to just sew these together now, and we will be done. I can't begin to tell you how quick this was. I know some people, they think, oh, quilt, i got to do all that piecing, and... You can use really big cuts. You can. And it goes so quick, and I just think it's going to be so pretty with 17 different colors in one quilt top. And do remember, this is a quilt top. You're getting just the pieces for this. And I will have this on eBay as an auction starting at one penny. The bidding will start at one penny with free shipping. You can bid if you are outside of the USA, but you will have to pay shipping and whatever other fees you incur by whatever your country charges, if they charge taxes when you get something. So um, just be aware of that. The link to that auction is in the description of this video. My eBay name is Darlene Michaud, but you can also go to my blog, DarleneMichaud.com, spelled the same way it is on this channel and you'll see links to all my stuff in the sidebars. So let me slap this together. I'm just going to sew together all those columns. I just did some editing before I put this together, and I flipped. The green was supposed to be at the top and then the pink, and I really wanted it that way, but I'm not taking that apart. It's very easy to flip things. I know people say, take a picture with your phone, and I just, I don't, I don't do that. Even if I take a hundred pictures, it's very easy when you sew two things together to just lay them out the wrong way, and I, you know, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> it's still okay, but I know some of you were probably screaming, that's the wrong way. I don't know if I messed up elsewhere. I stopped caring when I screwed those two up. It is the next day, and I was struggling so hard as to how I could show you guys this quilt top. I didn't want to put it on the bed because the dog is always on the bed, and I could have put a sheet on the bed, but I don't know. I just didn't feel like doing it. So what I did is I have a, a comforter that we just opened, and I put that on two tables, and I put the quilt top on there. It is lumpy because that table is lower than this one. We couldn't get them to be even, but this is about the best that I can do. I don't know if you can see the colors good, but uh, this is how it turned out. It's, you know, puffy because it's on a comforter. I want to remind you guys that you can bid on this quilt top. It is on eBay. The bidding starts at one penny with free shipping for the USA. If you are outside of the USA, you have to pay shipping. I also have the quilt kits. They are on eBay. But if you become a $10 patron or a $9.99 YouTube member, you can get the quilt kit for $10 less than on eBay. So it would be the same amount of money either way. And this way you could, you know, come into the exclusive store and hang out there, <laughs> try it for a month, and cancel if you don't want to stay. But I just wanted to, um, oh yes, the size did come out to about 43 wide by 59 tall, maybe a half inch less in, you know, both directions. But other than that, it was so easy to put together, and uh, I really do like it. Um, it bugs me, though, that I swapped the pink and the green. And you know, when I noticed that, all I would have had to do is undo that seam right there and then flip it. Because now I got green touching green, and I just, I just didn't want that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I shouldn't even be pointing it out to you guys. But, um, yeah, so... Go get a kit if you want, bid on this if you want, 
And thank you so much for watching, and I will be back with more soon. Bye!